Hello, my name is Zach, and today I'm going to walk you through my command line interface application. And uh, so essentially, what we have is a uh, readme generator. So it's pretty intuitive. Basically, all you're going to do is you're going to go head over to index.js, right click on that, and then open that in the terminal. Once it's in the terminal, you're going to enter uh, node, and then you have to reference the, uh, the file, so index.js. So then it starts bringing up these questions, and then you just follow the instructions. So it's going to ask you, what is your readme title? And uh, we want our readme title to be a, uh, you can just put readme generator test. test. Okay. So enter a brief description. So this is a test of the read generator. Okay, so now we have uh, enter your table of contents, right? So we have a list of things that you're going to want to include in your README. Sometimes you're not going to have, uh, you're not going to want to have all of these, you know, depending on how simple your your project is. But let's say you want to use all of them, you can just hit A and it'll toggle all of them to be included in your README. Or you can just uh, search individually or uh, scroll individually and hit whichever ones you like. But we'll just use all of them for now. Um, press enter and then you put uh, enter your installation instructions so from here you know depending on what it is that you have uh, you can write just kind of the procedure for installation but for this since this is just a test we can keep it simple and just say um, you know install info goes here okay so now we have usage information basically it's just how to how to run it and everything. And uh, so usage goes here. And we have your license. We can use the arrow keys to scroll up and down. I only included the MIT and the ISC uh, licenses. The MIT one has a link to uh, this website right here. So we can just enter that. Um, and then I'll have a, a link to uh, direct you over to that website. Contributing guidelines. So for now, we'll just put none. Tests uh, this one. Uh, what's your GitHub username? So this is where you have to uh, make sure that you pay attention to what your username is for GitHub. Make sure that it's uh, that it's uh, spelled correctly and everything like that because it's going to insert it into a template for your um, for the link. So here we're going to put mine. Yeah. And then what's your email? We can just put user uh, at yahoo.com. So then now what's going to do is going to write that out to a profile.md uh, file. And then we go over here, open it. And then uh, basically everything that we wrote down is now in a readme format. So title, description, everything's here. The links all function um, uh, to take you through the table of contents. Uh, you know, here we have uh, the GitHub link. We can see that our username was inserted here into this uh, into this URL string. And uh, yeah, so that's basically how you run this.